Wait, wait, okay. <laughs> weekend vlog this weekend um so i'm alone this weekend or rather it's just me and oslo harvey's headed up to scotland to go do some walking with a friend um normally i would have gone with them but i've got quite a lot that i want to get done this weekend so actually i'm kind of looking forward to just having a really chilled weekend at home by myself and get some work done do a bit of walking with oslo and just yeah, just be at home and take things a bit slower. Um, it's very much needed. I've been very busy lately. <laughs> Pretty much every day I have the same banana oat protein powder smoothie for breakfast. <laughs> and I'm gonna watch a little vlog. Camera is necessarily that. What I think it actually is, is a photography camera first and foremost with some video capabilities added. What are you saying? What did I get for you from the supermarket, hey? <laughs> mm -hmm. That means give me the treats. <laughs> he gets very noisy when he wants treats. Come on then, let's see what I got for you. Yes, yes, what are those? 
What are they? This is Oslo's favourite. He absolutely loves Bonios. Are you going to sit? Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Paw. Oh, very good. <laughs> I am one of those people who likes to put everything in jars, so I'm really excited because we have some empty jars I can fill. This is how exciting my day is, clearly. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, we've got quite a lot up here, and most of them are just recycled jars, but now and again we do buy them from Ikea or wherever, like this one we got the other day. Um, but yeah, I just like having jars everywhere. It looks so much nicer. Books. <laughs> down the bus good boy sit down good boy <sighs> so the weather outside is pretty horrendous but this guy needs an evening walk um, I've actually decided to take him on a run so I've got our running lead um, which I've just managed to figure out how I can put around my waist and we're gonna go get very wet aren't we mister We definitely got wet, didn't we? Oh, I did like four and a half K in just under half an hour. Whew. Okay, time for dinner for one. I'm gonna make risotto con la salsiccia from my Italian kitchen cookbook. I love this cookbook, it's so good. But first, I need to go and get some fresh sage. Do, do, do. One sprig of fresh sage. This one is the sage. Hmm. I think that will be enough. and I'm out on a walk with Oslo down in the White Peak. We drove an hour to park in this village called Monyash and we are doing a circular walk around Lathkildale today, um, which as I mentioned yesterday is a walk that I'm writing for my book. Um, I'm redoing a walk, or rather I've changed the walk that I did originally because I decided it wasn't right and I'm hoping this one will be better. Um, basically the part through Lathkildale itself is absolutely beautiful.
but I just wanted to make sure I plotted a really nice walk to get there and the other walk was really nice but I had to go through a few fields with cows and like a lot of cows and I found it like quite intimidating with Oslo and I was like I don't really want to send people here um, so this walk is following the limestone way it's making the walk a little bit shorter so it's only four miles but I actually think that will be really good um, because I get asked a lot by people oh what's like an easy relatively flat walk that I can do with so and so who isn't able to walk very far and I have a feeling this will be a good walk for that um, I think it's going to be relatively flat I'm kind of slowly descending into the dale and then probably so slowly ascending to get out but yeah it's a beautiful day so far and I'm looking forward to being out in the early morning with no one around um, and take you along on a lovely walk through Lafkill which is absolutely stunning so I'm looking forward to showing you all the wildlife and flowers and yeah So these little purple flowers are called the Jacob's Ladder flower and they are rare but they quite famously grow inside Lathkildale in June and July. They're so pretty. I believe that the reason they are called Jacob's Ladder is because the leaves resemble ladders. I mean, I'm not sure. <laughs> But yeah, I've seen quite a lot of them today. Lathkill Dale, where I am now, is one of the White Peaks famous limestone dales, um, which I believe, and I'm not the best at geology or geography, so do comment below if I am wrong, but this would have formed about 300 million years ago, before which point all this area was once a shallow sea. So you remember when I was at um, Cromen Parkhouse Hills, and I said that it was once a coral reef, which is what gave it that incredible like shape and quite striking feature on the landscape. Well, I believe the dales, um, these dales like Lathkill Dale, Monsell Dale, there's lots of them in the White Peak. Um, obviously same area, so formed in the same kind of way. So yeah, if anyone could explain exactly how they were formed, I just know that it was once a sea and that, yeah, it's limestone all around here. I'm learning. <laughs> I'm really interested in it all. I wish I'd studied um, geography, I think. Um, or, you know, maybe not at university, but a little bit longer. I think I dropped it at GCSE, so. But now I'm really interested in like plants and rocks and all that kind of stuff just comes from being outside. Just need to read more really. <laughs> or just be outside more and be more curious, which I definitely am. <laughs> Something I really love about Lathkill Dale is that it really feels like nature has been allowed to flourish here. There's wildflower everywhere, birds of prey soaring overhead. 
they haven't tried to tame nature too much which is really nice for this area and obviously we're in a national park and it's a protected area so often they just feel a little bit too humanized is that the right word but here it just feels like I'm visiting nature there's like a little walkway for us humans to walk along but in general nature is just thriving here it's amazing super nice I did pick up a little bit of rubbish down at the waterfall but in general it does seem like hopefully people respect respect this area Okay, so that was a very lovely, I think around four or five mile walk, and it's 10 o'clock, just going 10. Um, I really fancy a croissant and a coffee, so I'm gonna drive over to Eam and go to the cafe Village Green there. Now it is Bank Holiday Sunday, and there's not a lot of parking in Eam, so I'm gonna try my luck and see if I can park somewhere. Um, if not, we'll just head home, but it would be very nice to have a croissant and a coffee after that nice walk, so. Thank you. 